Hi, this is Nikki, and I am here to share the messages that I get from all of our higher selves and everyone that is joining on this journey back to unconditional love, joining into the crystal grid, coming to me for healing, sending me songs and things. And it's all of our higher selves working together to bring us back into this magical world of unconditional love, magical world of connective connections and to our divine loves and back into our reunions. So, yesterday we were on this magical mystery 70s amazing funk vibe, <laughs> it's just so cool. And today it's very different. So today um, it's all about the healings. So the healings that I've been doing for people, I must say that every single one is totally individual, completely unique, but there are definitely themes in the healings. <clears throat> and what has been coming out is that there have been themes around showing symbology around being balanced and having the energies coming into sync. And then there also has been a theme around having the barriers, still having blocks around the heart. But not on the male side, it's on the female side. So clearing away the blocks around the heart um, for the Divine Feminines. Um, which is unusual because before it was around the Divine Masculine, to be honest. Um, so yeah, quite interesting. <clears throat> so... Um, what I want, so, so it goes in keeping though, because everything that we've been saying around um, ab abandonment that was coming up, etc., actually they're the mirror for you. So whichever side you're on, it doesn't matter. You just need to keep clearing around your heart, keeping it, opening up your heart to more and more and more love. So what I'm going to say, there is some, some things that have happened since healings that I was doing for people yesterday. The first, and so all of these links again, I'm going to share them and put them in the description box because they will um, be of useful resources for you as well. So, what um, I experienced yesterday in somebody's healing was actually a significant, so it was basically symbolic of the Kundalini awakening. Um, I felt in me as the, the sort of snake going up through my body and out of my crown of my head. <clears throat> and so when this morning I um, looked onto, so my YouTube list came up and surprise, surprise, there is a video about a twin flame couple and they are talking about their relationship since they've come into union and they are talking about the Kundalini awakening. So I was immediately like, oh, okay, I know that this is for that particular person and I need to share it with everyone because it will be of interest for you. It's actually a, a twin flame couple, they've come together, they are talking about their experiences. So that's the first thing. That was directly, and this is what just keeps, it just blows me away because that was literally last night, I experienced that in this person's healing. This morning I get that video pop up in my list. So um, amazing. The second video recommendation is for psychic consultants for this week's energy read. In that, she actually, if you've been following my videos, I was saying about the world is your oyster and that actually every bit of our, the grain of dirt, <laughs> if you like, is what makes us into a beautiful pearl. She actually even says virtually the same thing in her video. So, and she, all, and she mentions my twin surname as well at one point. So I was like, oh my God. So read that, uh, so watch that Psychic Consultants, that's Agatha. If you're not familiar, again, I'll put all of these links into the, into the um, description box. The next one is some, something that somebody sent me from the grid. This is about rules to your union. A lady has done a video which basically says, what are the things to do to get into your union? Um, I quite liked it. I thought it was really sweet. So I'll put that link in there as well because um, that might help some of you. The uh, next thing is another energy read um, that popped up after I'd done healing for somebody else that was relevant for them. So if it's relevant for them, then you know I'm sending it out to all of you because you might want to get you might get something from it. It's by Christabel Jessica. Um, she is talking about the timelines. 
and also and what I noticed straight away is that she's on a gold sparkly background so she's obviously tapped into the golden energies as well so and what she's saying about the tap timelines is essentially if you're always picking your highest truth always going into your heart then you will always fast track your timelines right because you're always picking your purest divine path <clears throat> so that's why we always say go into your heart follow what your heart says don't get tied down by the ego because actually your ego can stir you off your your purest path so anyway and she talks about that i think she does a really nice description of it <clears throat> so christabel jessica as well so there's yeah there's four energy reads that i would recommend then we go into the songs. I'm going to show you this because I'm actually going to read a quote from this because it is so beautiful and this is a message. So the song is, first of all, it popped up in my list. Never heard of it before. It's by, the reason why I noticed it straight away is because it is um, by Ryan Wood Wood. So I know as soon as I see Wood, I know it's from my twin because the forest lovers and the crystal grid is based on the forest lovers which are in the heart of the woods and that's where I've been guided that I will be setting up a retreat, a healing retreat to help um, house the grid and also to help divine lovers come into union with each other. Um, so, and by the way, if you want to do donate anything to that to help set that up, then that would be wonderful. Um, so if you, if you um, want to donate, there's a link in the description box as well. Um, but basically, and then Ryan is obviously Ryan Gosling. He was in the message yesterday. So again, crazy connections. Ryan Gosling's surname is even, Gosling is a type of duck. So again, I mean, just crazy. Okay, there's also, the, there's so many songs today. I'm going to end with this, I'm going to just go through the songs. Again, all of these are in the description box. We've got George Michael, The Concert of Hope. That is a whole entire concert that is introduced by David Bowie. Um, we've got The Weekend, I Feel It Coming with Daft Punk. We've got David Bowie, Modern Love. We've got Nine, Billion, Nine Million Bicycles in Beijing, Katie Melua. Got My Destiny, Lionel Richie. I'm Saving All My Love For You, Whitney Houston. How Deep Is Your Love, The Bee Gees. Dan Mill at Hill, Sometimes When We Touch. I'm Gonna Love You Till The Fear In Me Subsides. <clears throat> that is the key uh, lyric from that song, by the way. I'm Gonna Love You Till The Fear In Me Subsides. Jason and Carly, Now We're Back Together. Okay, so those are all the songs. Loads and loads and loads of them. Right, the next thing is about the connections. I have an email from a girl overnight. She was like, oh my God, I'm totally blown away. So many things that have come in the messages about a red dress, about Deadpool, about Jude, about um, uh, loads, 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 loads of stuff. She said, I can't believe it because those, when I heard your video, it made me want to cry because I suddenly felt like I wasn't going mad. And I knew that um, it, all of the signs and synchronicities were all of the things that we were all sharing on the Crystal Grid and everyone on this channel. So just gorgeous, right? Confirmation that we're all going through the same journey. We're all helping each other. We're all in it together. Okay, and the last, right, so this is the last thing. This is insane in the membrane. Okay, so I also ran a BNB. &B. Last night I had a guest to come to stay. I was chatting to him this morning. It turns out he is an ex vicar. <laughs> now, note yesterday we had messages around um, the, the St. Jude and all that stuff. He tells me that the new vicar in his church is from a band called Fat and Frantic that they were around a while ago. Their main song was Brian. Now, I immediately was like, Brian, that's the name. I gave um, my twin a name of um, a shamanic stone, and I called it Brian. So I look it up. The song that comes up, the actual link to it is called The Reunion Is Upon Us in 2011. <laughs> so basically, how perfect is that? I get a divine messenger 
coming to my house to stay the night to, to tell me that the reunion is upon us in and it's dated 2011 you can't make it up people you cannot make this stuff up so take note these are happening come to me for healing come and join the grid come and join in on the ride okay take care bye